afternoon guys. Um, I'm going to go on a bit of a mission and get all these pedal assemblies and everything bolted together today uh, to go back on the on the bulkhead. Because once all this is all built I can get the wings painted and get every, get everything sort of put back together again. Um, day is it today? No, it'd be Friday. Friday the galvanizers has come back so yeah. Um, sorry, just thinking out loud. So yeah, I'm going to time lapse putting this most of this back together again. It's pretty much a reverse of taking it apart. Um, hopefully, before you stripped it, you took loads of pictures, so you've got references anyway. Um, I probably will have to stop filming every now and again, especially for the throttle linkage, um, the hand throttle linkage, and everything, because all the pictures are on my phone, uh, and obviously I'm, I'm filming with it. So right, I'll uh, I'll not ramble on too much because chances are this video is going to drag on for quite a while. I'll. Um, I'll put you on time lapse and I'll uh, I'll get building. built up and um, don't forget to put your little bit on there for the um, brake light switch uh, what I'll do because um, I had to use the old, the old screws in there they're a little bit corroded on top they're still perfectly fine to use there's nothing wrong with them what I, what I always tend to do is um, once everything's fitted I'll go around really small brush with some of this black paint and I'll paint the tops of the screws. I'll put plenty on there. Um, same with the bolts when they come through here. So I've got in my pocket there. When they come through, I'll paint the tops of them because it seals it. It stops it. It helps stop it from corroding. It helps stop water from getting in there and, uh, and knackering it up. So when it comes to uh, well, these, when it comes to taking them out, if you ever need to take them out again, um, you just sort of pick the paint out of the the cross thread with the top. And you're ready to go. Uh, I put a little bit of sealant around there just to stop crap from getting in there. It seals it from the outside elements. Don't put any sealant around there um, for the simple reason it doesn't really need it. It's all sealed. That's got a seal in it. The um, servo's got a seal in it. But if that does start, if that seal fails in there and it starts leaking, if that's got silicon all around there so it can't leak out. What it'll do is it'll build up inside and eventually it'll get into your, into your servo and it'll start filling your servo up. Um, and then it'll cause your servo to have a corrode out inside. That's when you, when you see them and they're all rotten on the bottom there, usually they've rotted from the inside out. But also it can leak through, leak through onto your pedal and drip down your pedal onto your foot or on, onto your carpets if you've got any in. Or into the footwell and start rotting the footwell out because brake fluid, as I'm sure you're aware, is very corrosive and it will eat metal. So it's better if it just comes out of there. Um, if it does leak, if it if it does leak and that fills up in there, it'll start dribbling down here and it'll, you'll see it because it'll start peeling this paint off down there. But it's it's far better than completely knackering your servo. So right, what I'm going to try and do now. Just get the get this um, this pedal on there, uh, this pedal pad on there. These these are just just your uh, generic Britpart ones. I've never had a problem with them. I've been using these for years, and I've never known anybody uh, ever have a problem with them. I have used different brands of stuff before, but when they come, they're just exactly the same as that. So yeah, you may as well just use these ones. Right, this is where things get a little bit tricky. So obviously you've got to try and bend all these tabs around. And you need a bit of brute force 
sometimes it might be in some ways easier to do it once it's once it's on on the Land Rover, but we'll see how this goes. Normally I do it while it's on there, but we'll see how this goes. Bend them tabs around. Start it off. Tricky little fuckers they are. Sometimes you can get away with just squashing it round with the with, with a big pair of these. Other times you need to hit it round with the hammer. I move my cup so it doesn't fall off there. It's a bit it's a bit rickety this, so it's, it was only makeshift together. Hammer it round like that. That one's going to be an awkward bugger. It's easier on, on actually on, on the bulkhead, which is what I'll do with the clutch, because that's rigid, it's not going nowhere, so you can proper pry on everything. But let's see if I can do it, shall we? Them end bits round. I think I'm gonna have to do it once it's on there. I just not got enough strength for me to uh, go on him over. There we go. Yeah, once you've got it round so far, you can just get them on it and squash it up. And then it sort of clamps itself around. That one's bending around a little bit more. That one wants bending around a bit. I'd definitely recommend doing it fast on the round over. It's a bit tricky getting your head around there, but it's definitely easier. See if that one will bend around now. It's one of the smallest ones on there and it's won't bloody go around. What a pain in the bum. Total nightmare, that's turning out to be. Definitely do it while it's on the bulkhead, it's loads easier. We need to squash that down a bit. Well, we. Never in my life. That's it. I'm just going to and squash all them down. Well, that was bloody hard work, that was. I haven't put the springs on yet. It is recommended, uh, I would recommend putting the springs on now rather than later, it's a hell of a lot easier. But I'm not putting them on. Um, I thought I'd ordered some new ones. But I can't seem to find them. I've looked through everything. I can't seem to find them, so I might not have done, or I might just put them somewhere out of the way. Anyway, I'll struggle on because you've got to hook them on up inside there. It's a bit tricky if, when it's fitted, but we'll do it. No problem. Right, just checking there the right size washers. That's them. Spanner. Don't forget to put your pin through, your split pin. Very important. Uh, I've put new nylocks on there. 
I'm just running through, make sure there's nothing else before I put it on. Yeah, right. I can, in fact, and I won't fit this yet because what I'll do, I think, is do the clutch pedal first. So that's that bolted in. Um, the original one came with a, a, a little aluminium shim, so that's gone back in there. And what I've done is, is this is the, the original master cylinder that's come off it. And uh, you can see how far back that's that's been wound down. I left that, I haven't touched that or anything, that's how it was um, originally. So I've put that nut somewhere down there, a little bit far down there actually. But so we'll put that, set that, because I've set that quite far down. So we'll set that somewhere like where that is, for now, just as a base mark. And then obviously once it's on, once everything's plumbed up and you've got all the hydraulics and everything done, then you can uh, do that uh, however you like. Uh, I've used some of the double-sided tape on there, but because, um, this will have to come off to readjust. I'm just going to put it on loosely with these. I haven't peeled the backing off the tape or anything. Um, and I've knocked all the screws flying. So we'll just loosely put the... I've missed a bit there anyway. Probably better off putting the tape actually on this plate rather than that. So I will uh, take that tape off and do it again. But you get the idea anyway. Oh, uh, while I'm thinking about it, shot blasting this down without removing the pedal, without removing that pins, I've no effect on it whatsoever. It doesn't seem to have got any grit in there or anything like that. Uh, moves perfectly free, no grating noises or anything. So, yeah, I'm happy at that. Uh, yeah, that spring goes on with the with uh, that bolt that goes through there. So all with all that's left to do is take this up. like so I should have got a Stanley knife really just wait there, I'll get a Stanley knife right, back with a Stanley knife it is a proper Stanley knife as well uh, where's the name came from that one across there this thinner one across there. I've basically using this stuff been able to uh, seal up everything for the price of one of these gaskets. And the, the only reason why Land Rover didn't use these sorts of gaskets like this is because can you imagine having to pay a man, or a person, should I say, get it politically correct, um, pay somebody to um, stand there all day just doing this job? It was a lot cheaper and easier just to get the gaskets rather than paying somebody to stand around doing this. That's the only reason. Right. What I want to do now is just try and cut them holes out. Where the bolts go through roughly in there. Come on, you bugger. Right. right. I'll cut these out then, um, and then I'll uh, I'll move you guys over there, and we'll get this fitted to the Land Rover at last. Right. Like I said to you, I'm going to fit that pedal um, pad on there after I think. Get this plastic. Uh, oh, come on. I don't know if you can see from up there, man. 
Just about. Let me move you back a little bit. Come on, tripod, stand still. There we go. That'll do yet. Peel all this crap off, just seals it that little bit better. As I said, it's not essential, but I'm not intending on uh, taking this off for quite some time. It is a bugger though to get off. Come on, last bit. Get off it, thank you. Right. Carefully without scratching. Line the holes up. Yeah, that's the glory of using um, the sticky back stuff, is it? Oops, it holds it there while you get some nuts and bolts in. Obviously you've got six that hold this up. Um, right. And you're going to need that. That's for your spring. Uh, your return spring for the pedal. Forget as well if you probably should have mentioned this when I was doing the repair work on the bulkhead. Uh, when you work repair, when you're replacing your foot wells on on uh, on the driver's side, whichever side of your left hand drive or right hand drive, you've got a reinforcing plate under there. That's just to help stop this from flexing as you're pressing the pedals and working in it. I'd highly recommend putting that back in just gives it that little bit more strength. Right. Just put these in and then I'll uh, just put these in and then I'll turn you turn you off while I get it all tightened up. Right, I'll get this tightened up and then get back to you. Right, apologies guys, I got slightly distracted. Um, I fitted, uh, the, the, fitting the, the, the brake pedal is pretty much exactly the same as the clutch pedal. Um, but it's just a bit bigger, that's all. Yeah, and I've got the, um, the steering column in. Uh, one thing to note, if you're... Let me get round here a bit. This bit here, if you're if you, if that's bolted to the steering column and you don't want to take it off, um, you have to fit the steering column before you fit the uh, master cylinder and and that, or you can't get it in. Um, yeah, basically it just won't fit because you've got to slide it up. You've got to slide it up through there and it won't fit. So fit your steering column before you fit the brake master cylinder is uh, and the brake pedal, should I say? Um, is the best advice I could give on that one and uh, I'll show you why I got a little bit distracted shiny and shiny I'll go into that in the next video oh shiny bits um, yeah there's not much else to say on that I don't think uh, I sort of lost track so actually a couple of days later I completely forgot I was making this video and um, yeah just got completely distracted uh, just trying to think what else to uh, 
to add to that really oh one thing don't all these nuts and bolts down here they're all they're all loose still the the, the ones that go through um, to the footwell are all still loose don't fully tighten them up um, I, I think I tighten these top ones up but I'll loosen them off because alright climb over that box there because this gap's not set between the, the tub and the bulkhead. And the only real movement you've got is with the bulkhead. Um, feel that, it'll probably want loosening up a little bit more. Um, obviously you've got to set the gap right, the bulkhead angle's got to be, got to be right. And you cannot, it's a lot easier if all these bits are just loose so you can move it. A, so I've got a half into play in that. Um, it wants a little bit more so I can move it around a bit more. But uh, yeah, that's if, if you tighten all that up, you can't move the bulkhead anywhere. You'll never get your door gaps. So just leave all that loose. What I'll do, because I haven't painted the doors yet, I'll test fit the doors first and I'll get all this lined up. Um, and then I'll uh, uh, tighten everything up. But what I'll do, I can't remember the, off the top of my head the exact distance to it. Um, between there, I think something like 34 inches or 34 and a half inches or something like that, I could be wrong um, I'll cut some bits of wood to that length four bits of wood um, and just just sort of clamp them on there so you've got the exact distance top and bottom what I do always keep meaning to meaning to make is, is a bit of a framework so I can just I can fasten it on somehow, clamp it on or something like that um, and uh, just set it up like that, it'd just be so much easier. All right, let me come around here a bit. Yeah, so, yeah, that's all on, ready to go. Still need to put oil in the steering steering box. Um, yeah, I don't think there's that much more to add to that. Uh, yeah, oh, it is a hell of a lot easier fitting the, the pedal pads while it's fastened to the bulkhead, hell of a lot easier. And messing around on the bench because it's all rigid held in place while you're trying to clamp it round. Uh, I've got a couple of bolts to add into the through the steering box, and yeah, that's about it. What I'll do next video. See the bling bling shiny bits in the back there. I'll uh, I'll do a quick rundown on that. That's um, where that's been, um, and what my verdict is on the quality of it and stuff like that. So, right. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that lot, uh, message if you want, I'm always happy to chat, alright, speak to you soon, bye bye.